Daddy thinks he's a pirate. Let's see what we could make with this lot. This is an ash blank I've created for the barrel of the cannon. I didn't have a big enough blank, so this is two pieces I've cut from a slab of ash, and I've glued them together. And you might see there's a hole there, and that goes right the way through, and that's in a dead straight line up the middle. So that goes in there. And uh, I did that, I actually cut a groove straight down the middle of each plank before gluing it together. And that acts as a guide for when I drill out the uh, the gun barrel. Uh, because when you're drilling a long end grain, there's a, a great tendency for the drill to wander off, you know, over this sort of length. It will drift and it'll follow the grain if you're not careful. So I'm hoping that this will keep the drill running true, but we'll wait and see. So I'm mounting this ash blank on the lathe between steb centers and I'm just turning it to round using a spindle roughing gouge. Just running backwards and forwards and taking all the corners off. So just turning it to round and just about there now. Then I'm uh, truing up the ends using a parting tool. Just doing each end. Now I'm using a forstner bit to drill a recess in the breech end of it. Now that is what you call a drill bit. Now this very large 26mm auger bit is what I'm using to drill out the barrel of the cannon. I'm doing this in stages, taking my time, advancing the tailstock as I go and just gradually drilling up the centre. There it is all done and that worked brilliantly. The guide holded the job. I've now got the uh, the barrel back on the lathe and I'm using a skew here just to uh, smooth it and taper it. And then I switch to my uh, spindle gouge. I'm just starting to give it a bit of shape here. I'm not going mad with the shaping at this stage. I just want to get the general muzzle shape and the taper at the moment. So I've got to add a few details on as I go. Just shaping the muzzle here and getting it to the diameter I want. Now tapering the rest of the barrel down to that point. using the skew to flatten it all off ready for marking I've marked it out because I want these ribs running round uh, the barrel and I'm defining each of these ribs using a parting tool just so that they, uh, they're well defined and I can then create the barrel each side of them just using a spindle gouge here I'm trying to keep a nice taper between each of these ribs. Here I'm rounding off the ribs to give them a nice contour. Ash is not the greatest wood for this really. It was all I had that was suitable. But the open grain structure it has in places tends to cause a little bit of uh, chipping out at times on these ribs and things using the Sorby Precision Boring Kit here and I found a Forstner bit that fits and I'm drilling in from each side to make a hole for the trunnion that the cannon will pivot on there you can see it goes right through and uh, I'm putting quite a bit of cellulose sanding sealer on this uh, just drilling out the uh, little hole for the fuse and I've now remounted this on some different jaws so that I can get to the breech. I'm just turning and contouring the breech here with a spindle gouge. And much sanding sealer and sanding later and I've got to this point. I'm now making the, uh, the trunnion, the pivot. 
just marking that out making sure it's all the correct diameters and the correct spacing just using a parting tool defining everything getting my diameters correct just parting off neatening up test fitting very pleased with that now it's glued in place but of course it blocks the barrel so uh, I'm re-drilling the barrel here with the uh, the auger bit just to remove the middle of the trunnion on to milliput now black milliput epoxy putty one of my favorite materials for creating things mix equal lengths part a and b and mix it thoroughly for five minutes till it's a nice uniform color now i'm packing out the breech here Milliput is very good at taking a thread and here I'm cutting an M33 thread into the breech. You have been warned metal turning on a wood turning lathe is not ideal. I've got some aluminum or aluminium bar which I am drilling out uh, with a 10mm drill bit and now I'm using some carbide turning tools and I'm doing this all by hand to shape this piece of aluminium bar. I've shaped it to the diameter of this rather large spring I've got. I then turn it to 33 millimeters and I've got this huge 33 millimeter die which I am cutting a thread onto this stock. I've now mounted it in a vise to give it some extra force and this was tough going cutting this thread. And there it is, all cut. This is going to be uh, the breech mechanism. I've remounted it on the lathe just to give it a nice contour so it looks right on the back of the cannon. And test fitting a 10mm brass rod. More aluminium, which I'm uh, putting an, a 10mm thread in the end. This is to form the button, the back bit of the breech. There we are putting that on a bolt, M10 bolt, which I'm mounting in the Sorby Zero jaws as a mandrill so that I can finish uh, shaping the end of the button. I'm just uh, turning off that little nub on the end and cleaning it up with a little bit of uh, wet and dry paper. Now this is another piece I'm making for the other end of the spring, this is the plunger. So I'm also contouring and parting off. 10 millimeter brass rod, which I'm cutting a thread on the end, M10 thread. Plunger, then spring, breech. I then had to cut a thread on the other end of the brass to fit the button. So there you go, you can see the mechanism quick buff up with some green compound and then it's uh, time to make the gun carriage and I'm using this ash plank and I've made a template cut them out on the bandsaw lots of sanding now making some lynch pins to fit the wheels this is all done with ash I've got quite a few off cuts of ash just checking the diameters shaping these pins which will be flattened on one side and now creating the axles so I've got to make two of these I've marked them out for the correct uh, width and then I'll turn them down to the correct diameter at each end leaving the middle bit square I'm just using a variety of tools just to remove the stock spindle gouge and uh, parting tools and just uh, Turning it down to diameter, this doesn't need to be uh, too pretty, it's all going to be uh, inside the wheels. There we go, I've cut these little wheels out on the bandsaw, drilling them out first with a force and a bit on the drill press and sanding them to round. The next job is just to uh, do a dry assembly just to test it all goes together. Just making sure the uh, axles and everything all slotted. 
That's good. And then what I'm doing here is blacking the outsides or the rims of the wheels using a blowtorch, gas torch. I uh, clamped them all together so I didn't, you know, scorch the face of them. This is styrene sheet, black styrene sheet, plastic sheet. I'm using a little mini gas flame here to uh, soften it and it becomes quite malleable. And you can see here I've uh, made these little, what they call cap squares. And they're what keep the trunnion in place on the gun carriage. A couple of coats of this finishing oil just protects it a little bit and makes the uh, wood look better. And this is uh, what some people call a brass monkey. It's a uh, stand for the cannonballs to stop them rolling away. It's just a stylized version of it. Here you can see how it works with these little wooden beach balls on them. I didn't make the beach balls. Uh, I bought them on uh, eBay. They were so cheap. I'm just doing a quick assembly job here. This is the uh, the favourite bit, really, um, when you've made all these components and they all bolt together nicely. It's very satisfying. It's the barrel in place, cap squares. I'm using these big coach screws, which I've painted the heads black, just so it all uh, looks better. On go the wheels. In go the linch pins. I did actually shorten these lynch pins a bit before uh, it was completely finished. I'm uh, really pleased with it. I mean, it's uh, it's been good fun building it. Um, really good fun, and uh, I love the way it looks, um, and I like the way the mechanism is, and uh, with the shiny bit at the back and the barrel. I've got. I, I like the proportions of it. It's all worked out very well. The firing mechanism leaves a lot to be desired. It's so powerful and accurate, it could hit a barn door at about two yards. I don't think it's even powerful enough to disrupt a Barbie pool party, let alone a band of marauding pirates. What's a lovely day for a pool party? <laughs> oh, what a, lovely, what a lovely black beach ball. Play? Yeah, it's all play. Yay! I could experiment with uh, a longer plunge rod and different springs, but I'm timed out on this now. The, uh, it's, I've spent so long on this project because it's so many stages to it that uh, I won't be spending any more time on it just soon. Um, but I will. I will at some point order some different springs and try some different spring combinations and uh, different length plunge rods but i hope you enjoyed the video as much as i've enjoyed building it and certainly from an ornamental point of view it looks good and uh yeah please like share and subscribe costs nothing to subscribe and you'll be notified if you hit the bell for when i put up new videos but um yeah i'm very pleased with that i'll be back soon with some more videos I'll put some stills up at the end and uh, probably a clip of it firing. It just goes boop. Back soon. Well, that's a bit rubbish, Daddy. In fact, Daddy, that's total pants. Well, there you go. It is what it is. Here's a few stills of it. Just showing uh, different angles. But thank you very much for watching. And I really appreciate all the new subscribers who have come across to my channel. Absolutely amazing. One of my videos is almost on half a million views, which I'm so pleased about. And you know, thank you very much for all the lovely comments. I do try and reply to everyone. Um, hopefully I haven't missed anyone I'm, I'm bound to miss someone I know but uh, anyway thank you so much I really do um, appreciate it yeah and uh, I'll be back soon with some more stuff more rubbish as Mia will say more rubbish coming soon
Please like, share and subscribe. My daddy needs all the help he can get.